Hey there, boys and girls. Um, just a quick note before we get into this uh, chatterbox. Um, we were having some audio difficulties that manifested themselves differently in the recording that they did in real time. So I don't know what that was all about. Um, we'll work on that. We're, we're, we've moved from using Zoom to using Google Meet. Um, and the reason we've done that is because that'll allow us an easy path to do a live a live stream. So anyway, you'll notice that uh, Brett sounds like uh, the great Oz. And um, so sorry, but bear with us. We'll get through it. All right. Hey, have a great day. Take care of the people you love. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's me, Jim D. And that is Brett G. Jim D. Yeah. And it's time for Chatterbox. 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 Chatterbox 16. You believe that? 16. Mm, wow. <laughs> if you were to ask me, how many have we done? I'd have probably said like, oh, seven or eight maybe. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. I don't know. <laughs> we're prolific. Yeah. So this one is, is we're going to talk about feedback. Feedback. To feedback or not to feedback? Or... What? What does feedback got to do with it? Or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Pick a title. Um, and and this is going to get probably ridiculous because this is something I, I like to talk about for two reasons. One, it's about modeling. And two, it's about people. And people fascinate me. And I love modeling, as everybody knows. So, so for me, this, this is like a combination of the only thing that can make it better is we could throw some cars in here too. And it would be really cool. And some, punk, oh. some cars, yeah. some punks, some models. And some <laughs> there you go. I don't know what you'd get, but yeah, it'd be all right. <laughs> but that would um, be the ultimate hodgepodge. Before chatterbox. we jump into that, um, I want to talk about, you know, we had mentioned setting up a discord server before and whatnot. Testing has revealed that ain't, that ain't going to fly. Um, but the good news is, is we have actually figured out a way to do it live, do this live. Um, this, this, you know, reasonably no, easy. Let's, let's, let's clarify. Hmm. He has figured out how to do it live. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. I'm the dead weight. Figured out an easy way to do it. Put it that way. Um, so, so that's coming at this point. It's just, uh, um, a very small, I, I'm, I'm not going to, a very small a financial curb. It's not a cliff. It's just, it's just, you know, it's one of those things like, do I just spend this, is this money I want to spend or not? Um, so anyway, um, because, you know, we're not selling t-shirts and mugs and, and, and I was watching a channel today that the guy was selling merch, which is fine. Okay. I'm not bagging on anybody who's selling merch, but it's like. I can't picture myself wanting like a coffee mug from this thing, whatever it is, you know, or, or it's just, it's to me, it's kind of, I know I give out stickers, but, but just stickers, <laughs> you know, you know, they're just stickers. They're not, they're not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not selling you a $20 coffee mug with the, with the, the logo on it. I mean, I guess it could, but, but, Honestly, I'm like, who would want one of those? <laughs> you, know? you might be surprised. <laughs> you might be I surprised. Mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, um, before we get too far off, so that, so that, so the Discord thing is dead. We figured out how to do the live. Um, uh, this, you know, normally we don't edit these, and they are unscripted and whatnot. Um, I did take some notes because otherwise I will get way off track on this subject because we've talked about this a lot offline because yep. like I said, this is something that I just find it fascinating. So, you know, and, and, and a lot of it's, you know, about definitions and stuff. And, and as, as, as a, um, as proof that some, crazy people in this world actually do have some decent ideas once in a while. There's somebody who once said words have meaning. 
Um, <laughs> you're laughing. You know who said that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I'll let people figure it out. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, and it's absolutely true. Words have meaning, you know, and, and we used to have these things called dictionaries that actually told you what a word meant rather than you making up your own definition. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> so, so anyway, so so a lot of this to me is about that. And um, so let's... Uh, so for me, this is... This whole to- this topic comes up usually in reference to contests. Um, I mean, there are social media groups and stuff out there that are critique groups or whatever you want to call it, um, assessment groups, whatever that 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 you can get some feedback from, or you can get pats on the back or whatever you want, you know, depending on the group, and um, or, or everybody hates you or, or whatever. But um, but this the the topic that always comes up, and usually in relation to IPMS, is there's no feedback, you know, and then it grows into a, a you know, well, is this a, it's a one two three contest or is it a GSB GSB really meaning, um. You know, no winners. Everybody's competing against the standard, not against each other. Anyway, we'll get into that. But um, so, so coming from it from that point of view, for me, they're two different things. I I guess first thing I would say is, what are you hoping to get when you when you say feedback? What do you actually mean? You know, because um, feedback is, um, you know what, can I pull my notes up here without? I pulled mine up earlier. Okay. Can you? And and obviously, yeah, I can still see you. You're still looking at my face. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, so, okay, so feedback, right? So definition of feedback from the dictionary. Mm, Big book. book. Used to be really expensive. (laughs) Anyway. One of my son's favorite books to read, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. My middle middle child (laughs) loves reading the dictionary. Wow. That's interesting. Um, so English major. <laughs> so, um, so feedback is, is defined as information about reactions to a project, product, a person's performance of a task, etc., which is used as a basis for improvement. Okay, so, and and that's what people are asking for, you know, that, that are asking for feedback, is they're asking for for something to use as a basis for improvement. Now, here's here's where it gets kind of iffy, or not iffy, but here's where it kind of changes for me. With that in mind, that tells me that, well, in order to do that, you have to have some kind of standard to judge against, right? I mean, would you agree? Yep. How are you going I totally to... totally agree. How are you going to know to improve if you don't know what's needs fixing mm-hmm. you know but anyway um so then i looked up a couple of i, I kind of went off on a tangent and said okay well what about an opinion you know an, an opinion really doesn't fit because i mean it could depending on the person and what they really want you know opinions defined as a viewer judgment formed about something not necessarily based on fact or knowledge boy right <laughs> that's wide open so an opinion, yeah, means, it opinion is. means nothing. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, evaluation, um, the making of a judgment about the amount, number, or value of something, an assessment, basically. Yeah. And then in a critique, evaluate a theory or practice in a detailed and analytical way. Okay, again, that requires a standard. 
An assessment is the evaluation or estimation of the nature, quality, or ability of someone or something. Again, you need a standard. So for me, in my head, if you're in a contest type situation, mm -hmm. and I'm only using that word because I don't know what else to use right here for this, but and I'll explain in a minute. Um, is you can't really do feedback doesn't work in a contest situation, but an assessment would. Or, or even an evaluation, evaluation and assessment to me are so close that, that to me, to me, feedback is too, um, too vague, too open ended to really have any place in a contest. But, and, and then I'll get, I'll get past that here in a second. So anyway. Um, so the contest part being that, um, oh, that is my notes. Are you seeing my notes? No, I'm not seeing your notes. I'm seeing your mug. Oh, interesting. Um, because I'm not, I'm seeing my notes. Anyway. Um, but when I pulled my notes up earlier, that's all I saw was my notes. Huh. <clears throat> okay. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so point being. I promise not to make faces while you have your documents blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my so so let's get back to the word contest. So so my my issue with contests and this Jim Clark pointed this out to me. Jim Clark's the head of PMS aircraft judge. And he pointed this out to me, and, and I think he's pointed it out in public before. He's like, a contest, which is what the IPMS bylaws require, is a contest. A contest requires a winner. A contest, the requirement of a contest is, um, oh, what's a good word? A, a victor or whatever. You want to uh -huh. say, you know, there could be only one. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know? right. Um, um, that by definition, that's what a contest is, is, right. you know, so if you're going to have an evaluation or an assessment or whatever, that's fine. But that's not a contest. And the IPS right. bylaws require a contest. So. Which I, yeah, I've, I've read that in many of the discussions that have made me interested in the whole subject. Okay. So, and you're, yeah, you're getting choppy again, but you're understandable. Yeah. Cool. So, um, so in, in, in the IPMS world, it would require a change of the bylaws of the organization to change the way that it's, Awards are handed out, whatever. Fine, whatever. I mean, it wouldn't require, it wouldn't, you wouldn't have to do that for feedback, but you probably wouldn't get anything very useful for, yeah. for various reasons. Now, what does that mean? I mean, there, there's no, and, and you and I have talked about this, and I've talked about this with other people, and, and, I, and I would even be on board with this myself. There's nothing stopping anybody from starting another organization and go down this this feedback assessment whatever path with it yeah. from the beginning. Great. I'll do both. You right. know, I mean I I and I don't think any I, I don't think I'm I don't think that's just me. I think most people that are, you know, that involved in things at that level would probably be would probably do both. Right. I really think they would. Um, yeah. So, but, um, so where this, where it really kind of, what gets lumped in with this, with the, with the feedback, 
I'm going to say assessment because it's really an assessment in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, But the assessment to to the, what gets rolled in with this is what a lot of people call GSB gold, silver, bronze, which to me doesn't really differentiate from one, two, three. If you don't really understand what they're talking about, right? It's, it's not obvious, but really what they're talking about is, is assessing to a standard and, and are evaluating to a standard and awarding medals or whatever based on the standard. So, which means you have to, I guess you don't have to use points, but I think that would be the, the best way. But basically you would have like a, a tick list and go through the thing and, and, and check things off or whatever and subtract points from you know, however you want to do it. And if you fall in this this range, you get this medal. If you fall in this range, you get it. If you fall in this range, you get this one. If you're not in the range at all, you don't get nothing. So you could have, you know, you got 100 models. You could have three golds and 25 silvers and, and 40 bronzes and everybody else gets nothing. Or you could have no golds and a couple of silvers and a bunch of bronzes and a whole bunch of nothing. You know, it just it would just depend on on so everybody's judged against a standard, not against each other. Right. And that's why it's not a contest. <clears throat> because there's no winner. Now what a lot of times they'll do is they'll take the, the golds and they'll do a best of show out of the golds. Right. Um whatever, I guess, you know. And, and to me that's kinda like, but I thought we weren't doing that. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, yeah. we're not doing that, but we are doing that. Oh, uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, but getting back now, rewinding all the way back to feedback. Here's why I think the assessment thing I get feedback, I think. In, a, in this type of a situation is bogus. Yeah. And the reason I, and you know, you know, we've talked about this. The reason that I say it's bogus is because I know what's wrong with these. Yeah. You know, is it possible to get tunnel vision and not see something? Yeah, but typically, mm, not really. Um, typically you're looking at something and going, it's a judgment call. Is this worth fixing to me? Nah. Uh And you just move on. Am I wrong? I mean, right. You you just, you just, it's like, yeah, it's not right, but I ain't worried about it. I'm just, you know, it'll be fine. It's going in the display case. Nobody else is going to see it. Right. Nobody comes down here. Nobody's going to see it. The cat, the cat sees them. <laughs> <laughs> but, and even if you take it to a contest, if you take it to a contest, you know, they're going to they're gonna look at the construction and stuff. But if it's an accuracy issue, it's like, oh, it's missing an antenna or something. They don't care. They're not going to, they're not going to see that. <clears throat> if it's, if it's an evaluation, I got what are we going to call that? The whole, that event. Can't call it an evaluation. It's a model evaluation. Today, today at the convention center, we're having a model evaluation. What? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> a show, whatever, display. Anyway, um, I forgot where he's going with that now. Anyway, um, so. Well, they would, you know, it would be the same thing. You would be judged against the standard. And, you know, I'm I'm wondering if you would actually need subject matter experts somewhat in something like that. See, that's that's the way that's the thing I think about sometimes Uh is. Now, being a non-contest person, 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not pro or con of either of the two styles, whether right. it's first, second, third, or uh, gold, silver, bronze. You know, I it's I don't have you don't have a dog in the fight. Exactly. You know, so my mind is just as an outsider looking in and being interested in the subject. I find it interesting, especially with all the conversations that go on. But um, that's why, like, there's certain things, you know, you're talking about judging to a standard and stuff, right? right. So, number one, if you know what the standard is that's being judged going into it, you yeah, know, you expect know. it, expect it, you know? So one of, one of the one of the uh, complaints I hear is somebody will have, um, say, a P51 or something, or better yet, a BF109 or something, and you know it's looking sharp as a tack. It's just man, that's a gorgeous looking thing, but landing gear is angled incorrectly or the wheels are crooked. Mm -hmm. That's one I hear a lot. Yeah, but going in that's the criteria that they judge by right. one of the criteria that they judge by right. so you go in knowing about it so it's like initially if you're you know, hear this i want to hear this in a contest so i better make pretty bleeding sure that my everything's lined up correctly right yes yeah that the construction's there and then you know work on the rest but you know maybe that's not as big a deal in the gold silver bronze but again I, I don't know how that one works either really totally but i mean do they look at it more as just like the overall impression it's like well he's got a crooked wheel but man that thing looks good you know so it deserves a silver or whatever you know but the thing well, is, you know, you're, you're talking about the standards, you know, no one going in. And it really shouldn't be that big of a deal, you know. Well, if you have a standard, like, like you like you said, you know, it's like you, you build a model, you know, you know, the flaws in it because you're building it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you, you, you get it together and you're looking at it and think, gosh, Nike's man, those those the tail planes are exact or, you know, my. My canopy's lopsided, or whatever. You know that going in, so you know very that's going to be a source of contention. You know, right? Crooked canopies are very common. Very common. P forties, for instance. Yeah, uh, yeah. My last P forty, yeah, something like that. <laughs> like, but I mean, by the time I got it painted, it's like, jet, oh, yeah. Especially on a modern jet, where especially the ones that have a single hinge point. Yeah. Yep. You know, but, um, yeah, you know, th th that's the thing is, you know, you were saying about, well, how do you, how you judge it or whatever? It's like, well, it depends on what the, the, the rules are. I think, I don't know amps, but I think, I, I read the rule book once a long time ago, but I think what they do basically is they have a tick list of like you're saying, uh, wheel not on the table, um, you know. Crooked road wheel, crooked track, you know, whatever. Right. Um, and they deduct points, I think. Don't hold me to this. <laughs> but, um, and that's how they get a number. And then that's how they decide, you know, where you fall on the, on the table. Right. And, and that's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But... What does that really tell you from the point of view of feedback? If you're coming at it from, from the idea that feedback is there to help you improve with what you're doing, okay, does somebody pointing out that, hey, your tracks are crooked, does that help you? Okay, I will say this. I'll play devil's advocate here. 
Um, we were talking about this the other day, as a matter of fact. It's like you can be working on a project, and if it's an in-depth project, you can be working on it for a long time. Yes. And after a while, everything kind of blurs. So you can have something that is amiss, but you've seen it for so long without really, without it really clicking. You've yeah. seen it for so long, you just gloss it over. You don't, you don't really think about it anymore. You throw the model in into the contest, and somebody says, "Oh yeah, well, you know, you put your hatch on backwards," and then you look at it, and it's like, "Duh!" Right. You know, it's one of those things. It's you've looked at it for so long that it just becomes part of it. Right. That's that's why uh, I remember one of the things whenever um, Shepard Payne in one of his books, whenever he was talking about figures, he said the best thing you can do for when you're doing figures is hold it up and look at it in a mirror because you're seeing it totally the opposite. And you can say, okay, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Because you've looked at it for so long right. in putting it together and painting it and everything else that you, d you don't see it anymore. So I think that is a case where feedback would be a good thing. You know, yes. and it would have to be something, you know, yes. um, pretty, pretty cut and dry, not, not, not based off of opinion, but more of, well, the hatch is on backwards, you know, right. or, you know, whatever. But, but you're not, you're not really getting judged on whether a hatch is on backwards. You're getting judged on whether it's done, done well. Well, and see, I, that's, I hear what that's you're a, saying. That's all. I that was just using that as an example, yeah. but that yeah. that opens up another whole can of worms. You know, who's judging these things? You know, right. it's like when they're looking at a model, do they even know what a Panzer II is? What a Panzer II is? No, they you know they build airplanes themselves. Yeah. So armor to them is just like, well, it's got wheels and tracks, and it's like, okay. Right. You know. And that, you know, that's a whole other can of worms. It's like, how do you get people that really know the subject matter? And in what type of well, contest would that you, even work? You can't get hardly anybody to judge. You know, you can, you can have a show. I, and I'm not talking about a NAS. I'm talking about just a local show where you get 100 people show up and they bring 300, 400 models. And, and you get seven guys that volunteer for judging and everybody else goes out and gets pizza. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I get it. Okay, I, I get it, but really, you know, <laughs> but, but anyway, um, so I hear you, but here's my thing. I, well, it, they're really, it's really not related. I mean, it is related, but it's not. What I was going to say is telling you the track is crooked doesn't help you. If if you knew the track was crooked, you're you know you're saying yeah right. you got tunnel vision you don't see it anymore. What you really need is somebody to tell you how to fix it, right? Not that it's broken. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And in my head, that's not really the place for that. That's something that you should have addressed a long time before you ever got there. My, you know, or or not, or not. I mean, you know, you not everybody has the opportunity, you know. But but you can't. Here's the, here's 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 my response to that. Is yeah. sometimes like, especially on social media, you'll see somebody post something up like, "Oh man, I'm digging this. It's you know awesome." Blah 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 blah. And you're looking at yourself and thinking, well, you know, your paint, your paint could be a whole lot better there, homie. I mean, because it looks like it's, you know, it's an aircraft, but it looks like it's got non-skid material on it, you know, to keep you slipping off the front of your tank, you know. Right. And they, I mean, I don't know in this day and age how, well, I can kind of, because like, you know, some, some places... Some, oh, never mind. That, that's a, that's a whole other avenue. I'm, I don't want to get down, but you know, they. Sorry. I I think that's a lot another of discussion. I think well, I was just gonna say I think a lot of the a lot of the the grief comes out of the fact that there's some. Well, not a lot. I would say almost all of it comes out of 
false expectations and 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 really i can think of at least a couple of times where i've seen people really upset i guess for lack of a better word that they didn't do so well at a show because they do commission bills well just because somebody buys a product that you make doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that it's good. good it just means that it has value to them look at you goes look at you goes is that what you said just because you're selling you goes doesn't make them good there are people <laughs> that'll buy them <laughs> oh my gosh all right you go story so when, I was still in the, so when I was still in the parts business, um, this guy came in one day looking for a timing set for a Yugo. And I don't, this was, this would have been pre-91 because I was still in California. And I just remember being like, what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> And he was, he, the guy was serious. He was rebuilding the motor or whatever. And of course, there was no parts. There's, there was no, no parts trained for those things at all. Nope. You know, and, and, and it was just like, sorry, man. You know, I don't know what Talk to about tell you. Throw away vehicle, man. Yeah. But anyway, um, so where was I? <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> whole, the, we were talking about actual feedback, so 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 I guess I'm I'm if you're oh we were talking about people being upset that that yeah that that they didn't do as well as they expected they were going to do because they're how do I say this nicely their self image is a little distorted. Right, because of the and and that's not really fair either. It's it's just that it's just that um, you know they're 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 you have clients that that buy things um, because like I said they have value to them either um, you know you, you you could do a better job than they can or they don't have the time or or whatever you know. Um, that's like cars. It's like we're, I do a lot of my own work on my cars, and it's not because I really like it anymore, or or, or whatnot, or because it's a bonding thing with my boys, or, or anything like that. It's because I don't trust anybody to touch my car. Sorry, <laughs> I don't. There's very few people I would let work on my car because I don't trust trust them. <laughs> you know, it's just that's just a fact. Um. And that comes from being in the business for twenty something years at one point, you know. And 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 there's a lot of good mechanics out there. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of guys that just have toolboxes. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Kind of like uh, <laughs> but, me on my bench here, my toolbox. <laughs> just because I got them, don't mean I know how to use them properly. <laughs> Or what they're for, or whatever. Anyway, um, so, so I think that's you know that's that's a lot of it. I think a lot of it is. I think there's a lot of sour grapes. I think there are honestly people that want feedback, um, you know, and and there's um. For me, in my experience, you know, you want you, you get the feedback at your club. Um, and nowadays, yeah. with social, nowadays with social media, you know, you get feedback. Um, you can get feedback amongst each other, and but but you have to. It's a two way street, okay. Mm -hmm. If you really want feedback, you got to be able to take it, <laughs> and and a lot of people can't. Yep. You know, and, 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 and I mean, it's, it's, to me, it's like, I kind of jump back into parent mode 
you know, when, when something like that kind of starts going sour, it's like, okay, do you actually want to get better at this or not? Or is this just talk? You know, what do, yeah. we, do you really want to know what's wrong with this? Or do you, do you just want me to tell you it looks great? What do you, you know, honestly? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know, and, and, and because it does look great, but, you know, yeah. you need to do this or you need to do this or, 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 or whatever, or what are you going to do about this? Or, um, you know, whatever. Um, all that said, I, I, I'm, I mean, and this is, this is going off on a tangent, but it's interesting to me how much strife there is at these contests over this stuff. It's a freaking medallion. It's like this big around. It means nothing. <laughs> it's not going to put your kids through college. It's not going to get you some contract at the Smithsonian. You know, the guys that are building for the Smithsonian and for the movie studios and stuff, they're, they're not doing this. Yeah, they're exactly. Working. They're working. You know, those guys are working. They're not. Yeah. They're not. They're not sitting in their sitting in their basement building to me a P forty sevens and 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 uh, sticking them in their little display case and hoping they get to take them to a contest one of these. That they're not doing that. Yep. They're going to the office or the workshop or whatever every day and you know pounding away on something that that maybe. They might have twelve months in, and they're going to sell it for seventy thousand dollars or something. Yeah, uh, I mean they're not worried about what's going on at the IPMS Nationals in Texas next year at all. No, <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Priorities, I guess. <laughs> but so I. Trying to think, you said something one time we were talking about this, and you made some point, and I was like, "That's a really good point," and now I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, so the, I guess the thing is, there, there's there's this. It's not just about feedback; it's about how do you how do you do it? How do you do it? When do you do it? Where do you do it? What's what's the you know? And what's your goal? You know, again, like we talked about in the "Who's Your Audience" episode, are you to is that your goal is to is to to win a medal at the IPMS Nats? Because if it is, these microscopic pictures that you're putting up on Facebook, they're they're, they're pointless because nobody's they don't have magnification. Right. So it it doesn't matter. So that's that's a waste of time. Yeah, you, you know you're. That's not well, the audience. Mm -hmm. It's not a waste of time, but it's not the audience. Right. That you're building for. You know, yeah. going back to what you were saying, you know what the rules are. Yeah. You know, and that's another big part of it too is people don't read the rules and then they're all mad when they find out they're not what they thought they were. Right. Well, did you read them? You know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't make a left hand turn from the right lane. Really? Does somebody really need to explain that to you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that one's pretty much. Uh... We do it in Mexico all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, dro I drove to Ensenada one time. Oh my. That was eye opening. Getting through Tijuana was. was I'm, I'm amazed I got through Tijuana without. Getting in a wreck, but then driving down the highway to Ensenada, and there were like potholes as large as my car. Yeah, what are you looking? <laughs> you look like you're looking for something. No, just you know, envisioning driving down there and just like just being a passenger, not driving. No thanks. <laughs> you know, not interested. I'll just close my eyes and. Tell me when we get there. 
<laughs> scream real loud, you know, if something bad, really bad's about to happen, so I can, you know, prepare. <laughs> uh, too funny. That was a long time ago. Good old days. Um, so, I mean, that's really just my thing. Is it's like, as far as feedback, what what's what's the goal? You know, the goal. If the goal is to get better, you still need to define what better is. Mm-hmm. Well, and the thing is, is like you can get one guy. That would be like, it's like, okay, here's my feedback. This, 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 and this. Like, all right, thanks. You incorporate that on your next, you know, contest build. You take it. Still don't, well, I need some feedback. Well, you know, well, the other guy, well, you need to do this, 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 and this. Right. Because even though there's like a standard to set to, you know, or to compare to, a lot of people can look at it in different ways, you know? Yeah. And how do you, you know, I guess that's the thing is, and I, and I, I'm, see, there's really two different worlds here. There's, there's feed feedback in the con in the contest world Mm -hmm. against a standard and there's feedback out here in the rest of the world, which is really opinion and not feedback. Right. Yep. Honestly, it's my opinion is you need to do this and this and this and this. But since mm-hmm. we're not really comparing it to anything, it can't be anything other than opinion. Right. I know. I'm, See, I'm, and, I know and to I'm, me, to I'm me, that's where here. it gets tricky. That's where it gets tricky with, you know, opinion versus let's say standard because and that's why I don't really I don't see the problem with the one the one that just drives me insane is 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 the alignment and and just basic construction stuff Okay, to me, I don't understand why that is such a source of contention. I, do, I, I really fail to see it. Okay, either it's straight or it's not. Right. <laughs> there's a seam there or there's not a seam there. You know, those are those aren't ambiguous. You know, They're it's not. straight or crooked. It's straight or crooked. They're it's not. straight or crooked. It's level or not level. And and. You know, either you've got a seam there where there shouldn't be one, or it's not there. And that, as forming the basis of, see, to me, that's the kind of stuff you shouldn't need feedback on. Because it either it is or it isn't. Yes. It's that simple. Um, well, and, and I have, I, I have, a, I have. A theory about that or an opinion about that and and to me it's a generational thing um you and i are from a generation that you know where i'm going but and i'm not being i'm not trying i'm not being you know i'm not bagging on anybody i'm just talking about facts here you know but we came from a generation where there was winners and losers and there was no participation ribbons and if, if, and, and the, you know, you had a hundred kids, you know, you had 25 kids in a, in a, in a sprint or whatever, and three people got ribbons and 22 people went home with nothing. And that's just the way it was, you know, yeah. and, and, and it wasn't, um, you know, kids weren't going home and jumping off the second story window on their head and things like that because they didn't place. Right. You know, um, younger generations have um, been sensitized differently, I guess, you know, with the the I hate saying participation trophies because I'm, I'm not because it sounds derogatory and I'm not trying to be derogatory. I'm just dealing with facts here. But right. 
Um, you know, they, so they're more interested in um, what did I do wrong? Really? Is kind mm-hmm. of what's, what's being asked is, well, what did I do wrong? Well, you didn't necessarily do anything wrong. Right. You know, <clears throat> you just didn't do as much right as the other person did or, or yeah. whatever. You know, it, it's not, it's not, I guess maybe that's really where I have a big issue because I'm not, you, nothing that you do on this workbench is right or wrong. You know, it just is what it is. So, so, I mean, I guess you could look at a detail thing and say, well, the detail is right or, or it's wrong. But I mean, as far as the actual building process and, and, and it's, I guess you could say things are correct and incorrect. And mm-hmm. I would make an argument that that's different than right or wrong. But that's maybe just right. semantics, you know. Yeah. But in my head, it's it's for somebody to come to me and put a model in front of me and say, "What's wrong with this?" That just starts off on the wrong foot with me, totally. What do you mean? What's wrong with it? First of all, it looks great. Okay, it's got some issues, but overall, it looks good. You know. I mean, I wouldn't be sad about it. I mean, not this one, but you know what I'm saying. Right. I wouldn't be upset with this. So I don't, you know, yeah. I mean, does it got some things that you could improve on? Sure. But I wouldn't be upset with that at all. It looks great. You know, so. Yeah. You know, and just sitting here pondering it. Just from what bit I know about the two primary styles of judging i would say that word aside let's just stick with feedback because that's what most people think of i think that would be something more applicable to the gold silver bronze than to first second third okay And the reason I say that is because just from the stuff I hear, it's like just using IPMS and, you know, basic construction stuff first. Mm -hmm. If you've got crooked wheels or your stuff's out of alignment, you're automatically out of contention. Okay. Right or wrong, that's the way it is. Right? Um, For for the most part. Yeah, you could be brought back in if there's... If there's nobody that's, if everybody's got that, you know. Exactly, but yeah, exactly. You know, but if they say, well, you were eliminated because, you know, your wings are crooked, you know, well, you know, that's not, that's cut and dry, right? That's yeah. just the way it is. Right. Whereas with gold, silver, bronze, uh, and it, it kind of, it's kind of funny because you get into that, is it art or not, you know? IPMS? Well, no, I'm saying no. You know, it, it's more. It's, it's more of a, it's a craft. It's more of a uh, mechanical, you know, construction, all this kind of stuff. Whereas, you know, the other might be a little more creative or whatever. Right. You know, and it's like an art, um, an art contest in school or whatever. You know, where everybody's done all these paintings and drawings and stuff like that. Well, okay, I see I got a third place on my painting. What could I do to better that? It's like, well, Can I be the best? you could work you could work on your on your shading a little bit better. You could work on your, you know, color, whatever. You know, you could work on your anatomy better on this figure. You know. That's well, something know. that's something that is it's like it's art. So feedback is a little bit more Pertinent, I guess. This is a perfectly good example it, of why I have why I have a harder time with this being art. Is because right. okay, if you're an artist, what do you care what anybody thinks? You're an artist. You know, it's it's yeah. It's, it's, it's but it's just it's just like my example of school. You know, it's yeah. like they have an art show. Well, they give awards. You know, right, right, and. Right. 
uh, maybe that's the the means to an end. It's like, okay, I'm entering these art shows because I want to see how well I'm doing. And if I, if I feel like I'm, you know, doing good and getting some gold in these things, then maybe I'm ready to go out into the big art world and make my mark or whatever. Yeah, I, I just, I, you know, I think of art, I think of like Van Gogh and, you know, and all of this Monet and all of this, and, 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 and all yeah, of this yeah. kind of stuff. And it's like, yeah, because I, I'm, I'm of the opinion that modeling is not art. Yeah. I I just don't I don't think so. I mean, there's a lot of people that have, and that's fine. If you think it is, that's great. Because you know, what's art? You know, it's whatever it is to you. To me, modeling is not. Right. You know, like you say, it's a it's a craft. It's a you know. It's like it's like building you know uh, the three D models for architecture. You know, to show what this shopping plaza is going to look like. Here it is. You know, is that art? No, it's not art. You may have went to art school to learn the techniques and stuff like right. that to do this, but right. it's not art. Right. You know, this, this ain't art. You know, it's not. But there's the people that that approach it with more of an artistic bent, you know, with color theory and all this kind of stuff and right. getting the shades and tones and stuff like that, the paint and the weather and all that kind of stuff. And to me, and that just naturally kind of gravitates more toward the gold, silver, bronze. In my opinion, yeah. Yeah. you know, because it, because it's again, it's more artistic, maybe doing it that way and being more concerned with those aspects of a kid as opposed to okay, I got to make sure I'm going to pull, pull I'm going to, I'm going to do a Paul Budzik here and I'm going to make jigs and everything to make sure everything is aligned exactly correctly. I'm going to put a finish on here. That's going to be smooth as glass and boom, there I go. And I can get a first place with this. Right. You know, that I, I think what, to me, what it boils down to is you have to choose which kind of modeling do you want to do? Yeah. You know, because yeah, this 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 organization, this is their criteria. This type of it, it, this is their criteria. Pick which one that you want to do, and then go for it. Well, you could do both. No, I, it, exactly, yeah. you can exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But but you got to keep in mind. Okay, I'm gonna enter this in this one. Maybe that gets pretty good because you know I did a stellar job on the on the paint and the creativity and all this kind of you know, shading and all this kind of stuff. Went over here, it's like, oh well, sorry, you know, we only get a first, second, third, you're down there a ways because you know, you put your tracks on backwards or you know, your 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 uh wheels are misaligned and one side of the tracks is not touching the ground, etc. You know. Right. Right. What that has to do with feedback, I don't know. I just, I just think the one side, and it's just my outside looking in. That one lends itself a little more to feedback. Right. What could I do better on this thing next time? You know what? You know what's interesting. Here, this is interesting from a judge's point of view, and this is me. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it is. Is there is nothing more? Well, I mean, I'm sure there is, but there. It's absolutely heartbreaking, at least for me, when you're looking at a model and this is good. And, and this is where these guys are coming from. And so I get it. It's not like I don't understand where they're coming from with, well, you know, why do you just got to pay attention to these certain things? Because you have to, you got to have rules somewhere. And that's what the rules are. And you're looking at something and it's great. And you get to some something and there's a seam on the barrel or the freaking barrels warped or the reason I'm talking to it. I, I, I think I sent you a picture one time. I was at a show and there was a something and it was, it was German and it was in winter whitewash and it was beautiful. And the freaking barrel was freaking oh. warped. <clears throat> yeah. You can. And the barrel just kind of went just, it was just, but it was noticeable. I wasn't judging at that show. It was like, oh, 
you know, and I just hate that. I mean, it's not even my model, you know, and I'm not judging, like I said, but I'm just like, oh, come on, man. This thing was, you know, and, and it, and it's, I don't know. It's kind of sad. It's unfortunate or, or whatever, you know, and whether they didn't notice or they, they didn't have a barrel or it happened after the, who knows what the story is, but it was just, it's just kind of like, it's such a letdown, such a bummer. Mm-hmm. You know? It's just like, you know, because for me, I like looking at them, you know, and I like looking at really good work and I, you know, I enjoy it. And, and it's, and it's, you know, and you're looking at something like, wow, this thing's really awesome. And then you're like, oh, ugh. you know, it's like you look at a, you're looking at a Ferrari and you, you pop the rear deck and you notice it's a kit car with a 550 Honda two, two cylinder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, come on, man. No, but, but, um, but yeah, you know, so, so I, I, I guess the reason I bring that up is, you know, it's, it's, it's not that the judges are being mean. Cause like I said, I don't think I'm the only person like that. The judges are just as disappointed as you are probably. Yeah. You know, if they're looking at it and going, wow, this thing's really cool, except for, you know, and, and, you know, and that may be an instance where the person didn't realize that it was, that it was bent. Yeah. Um, because, you know, I mean, it would be possible, you know, to, I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like this, but it was, you could see it. I could see it anyway. You know, I, I can't know. remember which one it was. I, I built an armor kit some time back and you know i'm well working on it and everything you know whatever and so then i was stand i stood up and i came back and i looked down at it and it's like oh my word the barrel was at an angle that way in relation to the turret i was looking straight down on top of it and that's the only time i saw it the rest of the time, it looked great, looked fine. And I was like, oh, man, what am I going to do now? Right. Yeah. I was able to kind of tweak it and get it, you know, straightened up. But, I mean, the thing was practically done. Right. I mean, I was it was already painted and everything else. Right. You know, I was just doing the final stuff on it. And I looked down on it. It's like, oh, my goodness, the stinking barrel's crooked. Right. right. You know? But then, you know, there you go. It's like the feedback thing. You know, if I hadn't seen that, it's like, well, what was wrong with my model? I mean, if, can you tell me what was what was up so I know for next time? Well, your barrel's crooked. What? Yeah, when you look straight down on top of it, it's crooked. 30 degrees to the left. Right. Ooh. Right. Okay, well, thanks. Right. And it might make you, well, you know, it might make me be more aware next time to check it from all angles right. than just, you know. Right. Right. And and maybe that's a lot of it, too, is, you know, as as – people like us have been doing this for decades. It's like, we've done all that stuff yep. and we still miss it once in a while, but we know there's like, oh, I better check this or I better check that or, and, and, but again, as far as feedback goes, I mean, yeah. Is that legitimate feedback? Yeah. But honestly, if you would have showed that to a person or two, whether it's photos or whatever, somebody would have probably picked up on that pretty quick. Well, so, so your, your, um, your thinking is like, you know, show it to your friends, show it to your club, as you said, social media, whatever. And you should like kind of avoid the need for feedback somewhat right i don't know if i would say avoid the need i i'm i mean from the judges out of context yeah 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 i don't i don't see for me like i said before i don't see the value in a judge telling you your tracks are crooked i mean other than yeah they're crooked but and like we said yeah you could get tunnel vision and miss that but honestly, uh, most people, before they take something to a contest, I would expect, and I don't think I'm unique in this, you're, you, you've got the thing out and you're looking at it. 
But in today's world, there's no reason why you can't take pictures and post them on the web and say, hey, has anybody seen anything wrong with this? Yeah. You know. These social media is the feedback. See, my, my thing with, uh, and I don't know where this fits in your conversation, in your notes or anything, and if it does fit, you, you, you know, we can hold off, but I just, I don't see the, the, the practicality of it, of uh, feedback, especially, especially, especially at a huge, like a regional or a national level with that quantity, because, you know, it's like, this, well, yeah, you know, it's like he was looking at it and you know, it does take a second. It's like, oh, your, your barrel's crooked or your wheels are crooked. It's like, yeah, but if you're looking at 500 models just in your category, do you have that kind of time to write something on every single sheet for every there's, single model? There's people that will argue that you do, that you will, and there's people that, and but but the thing is, is is it doesn't it doesn't work like people think it works. You know, people think okay, typically a category will be twenty or thirty models. They, they'll they they'll split stuff so that it's not you know huge, but. The reality is you can knock it down. Basically, you can knock it down to the top five mm -hmm. really quick, yep. really quick. I mean, seconds. It doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't take long um, because of alignment issues and things. I mean, you can just, you know, boom, 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 boom. And... And yeah, you'll end up in situations where it's like, okay, yeah, we're left with this, but no, actually, I think this is more crooked on this one than it is on. Bring this guy back in, put this guy out, or this guy's got, this guy's got this, and he's got a fingerprint here, so he, you know, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't take long to get down to a core group of contenders. Okay. And that, I know that sounds probably sounds horrible, but no, 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 that story. makes perfect sense. And here's why: this, you saying it like that, it just totally rung a bell. And that's the thing: if you if there's something just so obvious, you should be able to see that yourself. If, yeah. if you're if you're eliminated, boom! It's like okay, that paint is horrible. That thing's jacked up there, you know, just like you're saying, right? Yeah. So those type those type of kits, at the risk of sounding mean, they, they don't need feedback. It should be pretty stinking obvious. You know, okay. ask your peer. I never ask your, about that, but yeah, I, I see. Exactly ask your peers. Ask your yeah. peers, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's like they, they didn't, you know, they didn't like my, uh, they didn't even make it in the top five or whatever. Why? It's like, well, look at your wings. They're crooked, dude. <laughs> right. You know, your friends will tell you that, you right. know, or right. they should. They will. They you know, it, it's, it's those, what, oh, it's, it's, it should have won. It's like, well, you're not a very good friend, <laughs> you know? Right. It's yeah. like, well, look at your paint, you know? It's like, it looks like you threw a handful of sand on it while it's still wet. Right. <laughs> you know? So... With that in mind, yeah, like you're saying, it's like those they're just they're they're immediately out. So maybe maybe the ones in the top, like you've got it narrowed down to like, you know, first place is obvious. This one, this one is champ. That one's the winner right there. Number two, this one's the number two, number three, it's okay, it's a toss up between these few here, these two, okay? Yeah. That's where Feedback might be beneficial because you, it, you know, man, it's just like a management thing. I'll tell you in a sec. But um, this one's winning. Paint on both of them is great. The markings look great. There's no silvering. It's uh, it's awesome. You know, it's perfect. But on this one, you can see a little bit of blue line on the inside of the of the canopy. This one doesn't have that. So then you can offer the feedback for that one that was close and you can say, look, here's something to pay attention to in the future. Because, you know, you're thinking to yourself, it's obviously this person's work is good and this was an oversight or just something got sloppy and they had no means of fixing it, but be better to look at it for next time. 
And that brings back one of the things we learned in management whenever I was in the retail world. It's like, as a manager, who do you focus on to improve? Okay, you've got your exceeds expectations people. You don't need to mess with them. Right. They're self-starters. They do it on their own. Yeah. Then you got the below, below expectation people. They don't care. Right. They don't care. They're just there to collect a check, right. take up space, waste oxygen. Yeah. Your average people are the ones that you work on. Yeah. They have the potential because you know they're average, but they're not a slacker and they're not already up there. So to get them up there, you coach them along and you help them. Right. You know, you give them a lot of feedback. Right. So it's kind of the same thing in this little portion of our discussion of how, to me, feedback would be most valuable and would be uh, a good time for it. Is in a case like that where you got somebody that's like really super close. You know, these other knuckleheads, like, you guys just you need to go back square one and figure it out. You, you were almost there, and this is why. Right. So that keeps, well, it at a man that keeps it at a manageable level. Yes. You know? Yeah. And then um, you can offer some feedback to somebody, but you don't have to worry about offering feedback for every flipping model you look at. And that's right. the way some people think. It's like... You should be able to give everybody feedback. No, it, that's not. That's not. That's not the way it works. You, you you complain enough about how long it takes for certain thing aspects of the contest. You want to throw this in there too? Right. We need to tack another two days onto the national convention because of you know blah blah blah. Ugh. Well, and and see, there's people that tell you that's that's not what would happen. And if, anyway, without getting into that, but um. Something you just said in there. So taking what you're talking about, you got these two bills. They're beautiful. They're identical. Whatever. This one guy's got this this glue. You can see the glue around the canopy. Kick that over in a GSB. Well, obviously, the guy, the guy that's got the perfect bill, is getting a gold. Right. You know, and the the other guy's probably going to get a silver. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, or maybe you could give them a gold. It, it would depend on the rule set and how the right. rules were. And, and But, you know, that's where you would have that, that tick list, you know, and it's like visible glue, you know. You know, there's your there's your subtraction right there. And, and however you want to break that out, you know, seam. You know, do you want to have just seam? You know, how how wide do you want these, these categories yeah. to be on your tick list? And... And I mean, there are people that advocate that you can do GSB without a tick list. I'm not sure how that would work, how well that would well, work. Well, to me, that gets dangerously close more on, you know, the, the, the person judging its opinion. Yeah. Right. Because, you know, you could, you could have, you could have a guy that's, you know, you could be looking at, you know, a tiger and a Sherman. And you could be one of those kind of guys that's like, you know, Sherman's were pieces in the war. You know, so I'm gonna go for the tiger. You know, and it could be that yeah. it could be that dumb, you know. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. But you know, that's that's where you get too much into the opinion aspect of it. And I I heard somebody not too long ago saying everybody should have their names on the, the models, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, uh, no, you shouldn't. Because number one, if somebody see you know, and it's, it's human nature. It's like, oh, that's that one guy that, you know, has that really awesome YouTube channel. Oh, he's going to gonna get first. He gets first. It's like, yeah. well, no. You know, or it's like, okay, that's that guy that was smart mouthing my, you know, right. my P51. That's why I don't advertise what I'm taking. And if I know that I, if I'm building something specifically for a contest, I won't even it won't go on social media at all. But I don't, you know. I mean, there are things that are on, that obviously you know are on the channel or whatever that that I end up taking. But I don't, you know. Again, I don't have any illusions of winning anything anyway, so I don't really care. But but um, but in the you you know in the spirit of things being anonymous, if I know that's if if 
you know, I'm building this to take it to whatever. It's you won't ever see it until it gets there, until after the show on social media, because that's because of exactly what you're saying. You yeah, know, it, it's 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 like I don't know what's worse, not winning anything or winning something because of who you are, not what not what's on the table. Well, you know, I mean, a lot of people are perfectly fine with that, but I wouldn't be. I've heard stuff recently that it's just like, you have got to be kidding me. Really? That's the way you think. It's like, <laughs> it's like well, I, I, I got third place. So? Okay. So, <laughs> you know, and, and the way it was, you know, presented was like, you know, I'm me and I got third place. That's not right. You know, it's, so all you have to do is show up. You don't even have to, you know, it's like if, if you're going to have that kind of attitude, it's like, well, yeah, I'm here. Where's my medal? You know, <laughs> we well, you have a kit. No, I don't need to bring one. I know it's it's because it's going to be awesome. So what's the point of bringing it? Right. Give me my medal. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't. I. And again, you know, it's again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not that important. It's just a, it's a medallion or whatever it is, or an acrylic thing, or, you know, my, all my kids ones up there. I mean, you know, they were kids, they're excited, you know, but, but they're, they're, are they in their rooms? Does my daughter have hers in her college dorm? Does my oldest son have him, his at his house? Does my youngest son who still lives here have his in his room? No, they're all here. And the only reason they're up there on that shelf is because I took them out of the box and put them up there. Because when we left the show, it was 2013 in Loveland or whatever. When we left, we boxed everything up to bring it home, and they never opened the box. Never asked for them. Never. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which I guess is good, but but you know, my youngest now he's. You know, obviously pretty competitive, but he's um, he's kind of interesting because he is basically the only thing he is interested in is in his first. And if he doesn't get that, he is angry for an hour or two and then he's fine. And then it's OK next time. You know, and it's like he's you yeah. know he'll be angry at himself, but but he's 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 focused on first and doesn't and and even then it's not it's not so that he can can brag about it because he won't because he'll go and he, he'll he'll come home with a first place thing or whatever and you know in the time that it took the bus ride to get home from the event. He's already over it, brings the stuff home, throws it on the table and goes to bed because he's tired because he's been out there all day. And we come home, me and the wife come home. It's like, what's this? You know, and and we'll ask him at dinner. So what's that stuff on the table? Oh, you know, I, I got first in discus or whatever. And <laughs> it's like, OK, well, good for you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like. It's like it's almost a non-issue or not a non-issue. It's just a, it's a very short-lived high, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's like endorphins for a few minutes and then you're done. Okay. Or we'll keep sending them back for more. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we kind of got off on the tangent of, you know, why, what's more. Why do some people take this so seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I, I, one thing I want to make clear is, is I, I'm not saying you shouldn't want feedback and I'm not saying you shouldn't want to improve. And I'm not saying that, that, that it doesn't have value or whatever. What I'm saying is, well, I guess I'm saying a few things is a, a number one. Is that really what you want? A number two, if that is what you want, what's the best way and place to get that? And, well, and, you and, say you say you know, do you really want it? 
That's that's a good question because I guarantee there are people that if you were to say, well, it all boils down to the fact that your landing gear was crooked, they're going to fly off the handle. Yeah. They're going to say, uh, so look so at the rest why does, of it. Why does that matter? Because it does. You know, <laughs> it's like you're, you're, you know, all your paint looks good, but the red that you put on for the, the markings is rough. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. The rest of it's perfect. Well, it does matter. In this case, somebody was more perfect. Yeah, you know, and 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 speaking about paint, I mean, you look at some of those paint finishes you see at at, at the Nats and 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 even at regionals and stuff. I mean, they are so smooth. You'd swear that that it was molded in the molded in color. There you go. You know, I mean, oh, it's man. just you're just like. Wow, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, and and, and uh, yeah. Anyway, it's there's some pretty amazing stuff out there, but I don't know, you know, not the most exciting topic for some. It's really interesting to me because, like I said, it involves people and and modeling and and. Uh, you know, just uh, the way I look at it is is it needed or is it not or is it wanted or is it not or whatever all side to me it, it's just especially at a larger event it's just it's just not practical you know ultimately yeah that'd be great you know if you had enough judges that you could if you wanted to do it but you know I, I, I always hear just like you just said, you know, you got X amount of models. We had seven judges to do it. It's like, okay, if, you know, if you've only got, I mean, the only thing, the only way around it, the only way I could see being, you know, is like having, you know, whatever organization that you go to, that organization has X amount of professional judges. That's what they do. They're judges. They're not model builders. They just have, you know, uh, uh, you know, they know the criteria or whatever. You know, maybe they are model builders. I don't know, but they're just professional judges. So they're getting paid for it. So they're not going to be ones that'll be like, you know, well, I was going to volunteer, but I don't feel like it because, like you said, it's, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to, you know, get some tacos instead. You know, right? Yeah. It's like you got. It's like you know you're going to have. You know, we have X amount of contestants, so we need X amount of our professional judges. Which raise the fees for the clubs, and then everybody quits because they can't afford it anymore, and then it's no longer a problem. Well, yeah, and that's that's something that's been <laughs> about Nats, you know, because people complain about the hotel rooms and this and that and the other thing, and it's like IPMS Nats is cheap. It's 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 like you're okay. So your registration is thirty bucks. We're getting way off topic, but I'm just gonna hit this real quick. Registration is thirty bucks for the year for the membership. Registration for the convention is fifty, sixty bucks usually. Um, that's as many entries as you want. Um, you know, entry to everything, blah blah blah. Um, then basically, you got you got um, lodging, food and lodging, on top of that, and and transport, you know, and your and your travel. Well. I'm sorry, but if you're traveling a thousand miles, which is not uncommon, if you're traveling a thousand miles and you're staying in a hotel for five nights or four nights or whatever at $150 a night nowadays, um, and you got to eat, what do you, I mean, the, the $60 registration fee is nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yep. I mean, you know, you go to like the model railroad convention, it's like 300 bucks. Yeah. You know, or something like that, or which it's like you're saying, well, you know, if you want all this other stuff, it's going to cost money. Okay. Yep. You know, and, and, and then like you're saying, then, then nobody shows up because, well, I'm not paying $200 for registration. No, you won't pay two hundred dollars for registration, but you're going to spend seven hundred dollars on a hotel rooms and another five hundred dollars on food, and another eight hundred dollars on gasoline or travel or whatever to get there. 
you know, not to mention the stuff that you're bringing, not to mention the stuff that you're going to buy yeah. while you're there. You're going to spend four thousand dollars and you're crying about 60 bucks. I mean, you you know, you're probably going to spend yeah. close to three pretty easy. Yeah. Twenty five hundred bucks anyway. You know, and 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 I mean, you could do it cheaper. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just right. saying, I mean, it'd be really easy to spend twenty five hundred bucks. Yep. Really easy. Um, really, is a sixty dollar registration fee your biggest problem in that twenty five hundred dollar equation? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. So. So I don't know. We talked about feedback and GSB. We talked about a bunch of stuff. But I would say. Um, well, I, I guess I said it. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You know, is is if we want to do it a different way, we being IPMS, IPMS isn't going to change the way they're doing it. Um, but start another group. There's no reason. I mean, it's like it's like you got this group of people that want to do a hostile corporate takeover. <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah. it's like. Why? It's you, you know what's interesting. Here's what's funny. Here's what I think is funny about this whole thing. Apparently, there is some idea that um, IPMS, International Plastic Modeler Society, is international, which it kind of is and it's kind of not. There are other IPMS groups around the world in other countries, but there is no shared um structure right at all just the same as there is no path to the nas there's no shared structure um other than membership down to the the individual club level because if my club wants to have a show we just have a show and we do whatever we want and as far as regionals and nationals and stuff you don't have to like win at a local and then win at a regional to get to nationals. You just show up and pay your money. It's not a championship. It's just a big contest. It doesn't, it's, it's not any different than your local contest. There's just more people there. Right. It's just bigger. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, the, so to me, that, that makes it even more interesting that it's like, what, why, why, just start another organization. That's what AMPS did. That's what NMC yeah. did. The car clubs, the car guys did. Um, it's not a big deal. You know, it's and the thing not. is, is there's enough like-minded people that if you were to start an organization like that, you'd have plenty of people that think just like you do. And then you could start it and you could run it and you could go for a few years and then everybody would start complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> right that's right. the way it works right yeah 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 no it's 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 uh well like i said i just think it's interesting that you know there's the, apparently there's some value in the brand i guess if you want to put yeah. it that way i don't know yeah i don't know man anyway wow i don't know it's been like an hour and a half huh it has been an hour and uh, 18 minutes. Yeah. We always seem to hit it an hour and a half. Yep. Right around That's the magic number. Without even trying. We just end up Exactly. <laughs> so, real quick, what are you working on? Well, I finished the P51, which I have handy. Yeah. Air fix, 177 scale P51 in Tuskegee uh, 100th um, Fighter Squadron. And you did not do airmen. a panel line wash. How dare you? I did not. I did not. You know, it's funny. And that's why I pointed that out to you. Or, or I should have just waited and see if you even noticed. But, and it, this wouldn't work on every model, I don't think. But the detail was engraved enough. And using that MRP, that really super thin paint yeah. when i got done i was looking at it it's like wow 
I'm going to save myself a lot of grief. I don't <laughs> yeah. have to do a panel wash on this panel line wash on this thing. Right. Not necessary. And it was all uh, very well defined and everything. And I posted it on a couple of the uh, Facebook groups. You, you saw them. I honestly have to say, I think that I got more um, activity on that one than I have on any other model I've, I've posted on any of the groups. Wow. I it just, you know, I, I'm not saying it's because, you know, I did the stellar job or anything, but right. it just, it kind of, it came together and, and I just, oh. The only time you get more, more activity is if it's German. True. True. We'll see if that happens when I do a German plan again. But anyway, yeah, that was a really fun, it was a fun kit. Keith, if you're watching this uh, chatterbox and you've made it this far without falling asleep, thanks again for giving me that kit. That was, man, that was a, nice, that was a really nice little kit. I have to say that I, I, and I would build another one just because it fits together so well and it's so easy, not complicated. There's not a lot of little small parts, right. you know, and doing it gear up and closed up with a pilot in it. Yeah. I was going to say, was it gear up? Because I didn't, because from the angle you took the pit photo at. It was, like, it was sitting on the drop was tank. It gear up or not? Yeah, I thought it was. Sitting on the drop tank. I yep. thought it was, but I wasn't sure. I'm like, I don't see no wheels under there. And the, the, the SMS and MRP paints work really good. I like those SMS metallics. Nice. I haven't tried MRP metallics yet, but uh, I like the I like the SMS. That works really good. Nice. nice. But that, that one I got done. Now I'm trying to trying to get this one wrapped up. I've got the I finally got the face on the tracks. Cool. And uh, so I can start next thing. Do some uh, weathering underneath here, and get all that assembled and done, and then I can go on to the weathering, and then. I got to work on the figures. Different. Well, what are you going to use for figures? Well, I'm going to have, um, well, let's see if I can fish them out here real quick. Like show you. Um, yeah, I've got an Alpine. Uh, Alpine. It's actually Alpine third. Uh, armored. Third armored spearhead. Um, yeah. But I'm trying to replicate the guys in the in the photos. Yeah. So he will have he will have the M1 helmet and not the tanker helmet. Okay, so he'll be in the hatch. And then in uh some of the pictures, the guy sitting on the back, uh the back engine deck with like one knee up, kind of holding his rifle. So I got this US armored infantry dude here, this is scale seventy five. Cool. Uh to put on the back. So this will be my first time for both of these brands of figures, and I've kind of looked at, looked at them a bit, and they, they, look, they look really, really good. Yeah. But, you know, the painting will tell if, uh, and uh, in addition to that, where is it? Uh, let's see what I do with it. They got some new paints to, oh, here they are. I got these to try. Warfront? Yeah. I'm not familiar with that. Warfront. Uh, it's from Spain. I think this is the only type of bottle you can use in Spain, is this, this type of <laughs> bottle. But uh, I'd seen some stuff on them, and, you know, they had Nobody a set that was U.S. Sorry. <laughs> U, U, U.S. Uh, um, uniform colors. It was a small set, just four bottles, so and it was relatively inexpensive. So I thought, well, I'm, I'll give them a try, see how they work. Jeez, but, these work yeah. just like Vallejo, and they're in Vallejo bottles. Actually, you know what? They're really super thin. Are they? Yeah, the whole idea, and that, that's why I'm trying them, because you know me and paints, I'm always trying something new. But the whole idea with these things is supposed to be that you're almost doing multiple multiple washes of the color yeah. to build it up. So it kind of makes it, supposedly makes it easier to do shading and yeah. highlighting yeah. and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll see. I mean, it was, 
for the amount I paid for them and I was getting them from someplace I was already buying some other stuff. So the cost of it was inconsequential in the overall purchase. So I thought, yeah, I'll give them a shot. Glazing. We'll see. Yes. That, there you go. That's what it's called. A wash is called a glaze. There you go. There you go. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because you're not supposed to put a wash on a figure. That's cheating. Glazes? Cool. Washes? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that's a whole different tangent. Okay. Let me guess. P47? How did you guess? Watch. <laughs> Just a shot in the dark, man. It's stripped. Um, for those that don't know, I boogered the paint up on this and and ended up having to strip it. I've still got to get the, the anti glare off of it. Or not. I could buff that, buff the edges on that. But um, And then I guess I'll... I'll repaint it, but this 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 was Alclad too, and this ninety one percent alcohol took it right off. I, I actually videoed it, um, so I, I'll uh, I'll load that up at some point, do a voiceover and what. I probably have to do a voiceover on it, but um, but it re it really was not an issue. It came right off. Um, hmm. I just use some Q-tips and Kleenex and rubbing alcohol. Oh, wow. and um, so I'm I'm not I'm concerned about what it's going to look like when I repaint it. Now, one thing to be aware of is I did not prime this. I put the outclad right on the plastic. Oh, interesting. So. Well, I think not, if you'd have made the same mistake with the primer, that would have been a whole different story. It may have been a whole different story. Trying to story. strip it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm kind of glad now that this, I'm kind of glad now about this because remember you and I were talking that one time about um, shading and whatnot, and I was talking about doing black, gray, white primer. All right. I think I'm going to try that. That'll be interesting. And use that for your your directional lighting kind of sort of mm. fake 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 um whatever. So so you know, so you would have the black undertones on the bottom, the gray undertones on the side, and the, the white undertones on the top. Now the problem with that for me is it is really hard for me to paint alclad on top of white primer because I can't see it. It's really, yeah. really, really hard for me to see it. So I got to yeah. pay really close attention because it's, it has been more than once that I've got done with a natural <laughs> metal finish with white primer under it. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, there's white primer right there. Because I can't, because it's, just, I don't know whether it's the lighting and, you know, while I'm painting or what, but so there's that. Um, after that, I got the, the other ones up there that I need to strip to. I don't think I'm going to deal with that right now, but after that, I'm really, I'm really thinking about building that old monogram P40. Oh. That old seventy second scale one, and I've also yeah. but I've also got that. I've got the Williams Brothers C forty six. Command Williams Brothers. Yeah, the old Williams Brothers uh, C forty six Commando that they used to fly supplies over the hump. Really, in China. Um, mm. So I I want to. I want to build that at one at some point. That's going to be that is not um, shake and bake by any means. If it's a, I built one of their kits before years ago, and and they're they're good kits. Don't get me wrong, but they're um, they're you know they're the old style kits where where they'll have like notes on the instructions that hey you know take a couple of pieces of of, of plastic rod and glue them on here to represent this or whatever. They're, they're mm -hmm. not in the kit, but if you want to add this, you know, they're yep. one of those type of old, wow. old, old style that stuff. That is old school. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I, I've always liked that aircraft. 
I wish somebody had done a 48 scale one. I wish somebody had done a 48 scale B18, you know, different like early, early war, interwar years stuff. But that's a whole different thing. But that's what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is this. Sweet. So that's it. Awesome. All right. I'm going to let you go to bed. You sound like you're tired. I'm going to go see if my wife, my wife is probably still doing homework. It is just, uh, it's, it's this weather right now just saps the life out of you, man. It's supposed to be 111 on Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that was outside painting today. That was fun in the heat. Oh. I bet, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll be glad when this summer is over. Look, looking forward to Looking forward to October. Yeah, it's getting cool here. So, well, cool. What is it? Yeah, like ninety. It's not that well, bad. Well, I love ninety. Yeah, it's not that bad. It, it depends on the day. Some days it's eighty. Some days it's ninety. It's cooling off at night. Um, I've spent the last. I spent the last two days at work in the cooler in the freezer. So, you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Forty degree cooler on. On Tuesday, and I spent the whole whole of Wednesday in a zero degree freezer, sorting through boxes. <clears throat> so when you go outside and it's ninety degrees, it feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's funny because um, when I lived in Phoenix, you know, I was I was an IT guy, so I spent all I spent my day in the server room. Oh, you know, it's all air conditioned, this and the other yep. thing, and. and you go out. You go out to go to lunch or whatever. It's 120 degrees. <laughs> you know, you walk. You walk out of the server room into the building. So there's a little bit of difference there. And then you walk right out into a 120 degree blast furnace. You know, it's like, why are you always sick? <laughs> Look down and watch your skin crackle as you walk to walk to your car. Yeah, you know, why? Why are you always sick? What do you mean? Why am I always sick? <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Because <laughs> my brain's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. But anyway. All right. That's it. Sweet. Um comments, questions, um, death threats, whatever. In, in the, the comment comments. section down below. <laughs> um anything uh you'd like to talk like us to talk about, let us know. Um I'm gonna throw something out there right now. When we do a live, um we should probably revisit this. When we do a live, we're, it's probably just going to end up all over the place. Be my off opinion. the cuff. Off, off the cuff. Off the chain. Yeah. Um, so I I don't know when that's going to be. Um, we're going to have to figure that out. Um, your schedule's a little hectic, I know, right now. Um, but uh, we'll see. We will give you at least yeah. a week's notice, at least. Yeah. It'll be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, actually. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I think it's going to be fun, yep. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that's it. Yeah. As usual, take care of the people you love. See you all later. Bye.